chapter 2. I'm starting my new book. So what? Did you go buy the drain cleaner like I asked you to? Whoa. What? Drain cleaner? Don't be coy with me. I asked you several times to go buy me drain cleaner. Now, did you do it? Well, I know you wow. said the sink was clogging your doctor, strange. but you never asked me to go get you any drain cleaner. I would have remembered something like that. You know, this is just like you. I bust my ass for you all the time. You don't do anything but sit on your butt like you're doing right now. What? What is wrong with you? I don't understand. Fine. Fine. The next time you want something, don't come crawling to me. Fine. I'll go to the store and get your goddamn drain cleaner. To be fair, he did ask us to get drain cleaner. Like, he definitely asked us that. <laughs> you never listen, Adrian. That's why he beats you. It's your fault, really. That's horrible. That's a horrible thing. <laughs> but yeah, he's, um, he's definitely changed from yesterday. Like, yesterday he was all like, oh, kissy, lovey. And now he's all like, Mr. Stagra. I wonder why. So I think it's probably best if we just head like straight, straight to the store. Um, cause yeah, I don't really want to get on our husband's bad side. What is that? their massive budget, they really should have invested in a bra for her. <laughs> Always jumps out of me. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop staring at her boobs. What is that music? Oh, if I go to this guy again, I think I can get another tarot. Oh yeah, I've got another token. Okay. What's it going to be today? I bet it's going to be something tearful. <laughs> Necessarily a bad thing. Strangers can be nice. <laughs> She's still mad. She still hates it. No, screw this fortune. Okay. I don't know if I should try and figure out what this music is, or if I should just accept it. Like, yeah, there's just music. Um. Oh, there's like a piano here. Yeah. yesterday either.
That is like one of those like wind up piano things. I don't know if it's probably a, a name. I really don't know what it is. That. But it doesn't seem to be moving, so I don't think it's that making the music. It's a fully stopped what is this? liquor cabinet. Oh, absent. Absent. The essence of wormwood. So that's actually like real absence, but like absent. <laughs> that gives you like hallucinations. I just realized this game almost has a bit of a shining feel to it. Okay. Well, let's go into town and get our husband his drink. And then hopefully he'll be in a better mood. He'll be a good little wife. Hopefully the um, the general store will be open today. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Oh, look, another like random character. It actually, is like it's a nice touch, you know. Like they um, yeah, they obviously just wanted to make it feel like yes, this is a real place. There's actually life going on here. People walking past. It's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's Legislate Larry music. Good morning. Good morning. The music, this music in the background is like from Legislate Larry 6. Um, there, there's like a chick in a bar um, that's playing this song about cell block love with you, about being a prostitute and getting picked up by a, by a cop and falling in love. Sir? Do you have anything that would clear a badly clogged drain? You know, a drain cleaner? A uh, drain cleaner, huh? Well, let's see, let me think. <laughs> I just love that she clarified that. <laughs> you know, like drain cleaner, for example. This will do the job. Great. You gotta be careful with that, though. That's sulfuric acid. I mean, it'll burn through practically anything. I know, don't worry. All right, then that'll be uh, 475, please. Oh, that's perfect. We have five dollars. Here's five. All right, out of five. That's probably the last time we're going to see money in this game. And twenty-five cents a change. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a shiny quarter. Yeah. <laughs> that's how much they don't want us to have money. You know, this it's is just a like, small oh, just town. We don't get many visitors. Are you new here? Yeah, my husband and I just bought the old Carnivash estate. We're doing a little renovating. Watch his face. The Carnivash estate? So you're the ones who moved there. Now wait, why does everybody look so shocked when I tell them I bought that place? What's wrong with it? Don't you know? Know what? That place is haunted. Haunted? Shh, not so loud. They say it's haunted by the ghost of that uh, magician. Uh, oh, what's his name? Carno? Uh, yeah, that's it. They say he died a violent death there one night, along with his wife. That was almost a hundred years ago. A strange thing still, uh, still happened there. Like what? Well, like, well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't keep up with those things, but if you're curious to know a little more, why, uh, there's this old geezer, his name is Malcolm. He lives out of town a ways. He actually used to live with Carno as a boy. As a boy? How old is this guy? I haven't seen him like, for quite a really while, old. but I'll tell you, he is old. Over a hundred. He's gonna be over a hundred. And you say he used to live with Carno? what they say. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, thanks, uh. 
Harv. Malcolm, Thanks, we Harv. saw that already. We saw I mean, that very informative. Head. I'll look into this Malcolm guy. Well, good luck. When she was randomly going through people's um, letterboxes for no reason, for no reason, we saw um, Malcolm on one of the letters. So. Uh, we're probably done here, I think. Oh, we can look over here, though. I mean, we have no money, so it's just kind of depressing at this point. Things we can't buy. Cool, let's go visit Malcolm. Um, actually, I might pop into that antique store as well, because I saw that was open now as well. Um, I think so anyway, let's have a look. It is... open! Okay. Did you say 18th or 19th century cameos? Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to... Oh, uh-huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? My ears are pricking. All right, I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. I don't think we've seen You're any welcome. cameos. Goodbye. Hi. We did see that uh, big ring, but yeah, see I don't know. Anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking. Thanks. Take your time, dear. I'll be here if you have any questions. I guess okay. we should try and find a cameo. Thanks. Make a ton of money. That's like the goal of this game, right? Get rich. Oh no, wait, we're already rich. I don't know why we want to find a cameo then, but... <laughs> definitely important. Um... Hey, it's a duck. There doesn't seem to be... any hot spots here except for her, so let's see what she has to say. Uh, ma'am? Yes? Hi, I'm Adrian Delaney. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe you... tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? You're not a writer, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? Hey, we Yeah, fun. sure. Oh, you thank you. <laughs> What's your next book about? Oh, now you're going to have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen, I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. If you ever have any questions, I'm the one to ask. Great, I'll do just that. Thanks, uh... Lou Ann. Only uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay, thanks, Lou. Anytime. So we know she's going to be really helpful now because she loves us. I have a question. Do you know anything about a very old man named Malcolm? Malcolm Wormshadow? <sighs> Do I ever talk about a strange old man? <laughs> but I haven't seen him for months. Though Ethel does come into town to buy groceries. Who's Ethel? Well, she's Malcolm's nurse, and also companion and housekeeper and whatever else. Uh, he's very old, you know. Almost 110? 110. 110? <laughs> Is that possible? I told you, he's strange. It's almost like he's immortal or something. Whoa. Most people in town avoid him. <laughs> they call him a witch. But I don't believe all their talk. Well, I'd like to speak to Malcolm. I understand he used to live in my house as a child. With Carno? That's true, he did, but I doubt if you can talk to him. He's like a hermit, very private. I'd like to try. I have a lot to ask him. 
No wonder you're a good writer. You have a lot of natural inquisitiveness. Well, to find him, he lives about a mile out of town, down a dirt track. Oh, we found his house bridge. already. Okay. We went through his mail. Thanks for the info. Sure. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe we should keep talking to her because maybe she can help us get in to see Malcolm somehow. I don't know how. Um, yeah. I have a question. He has that big oh, dog hello. though. Can I help you? I hate to bother you again, but I'm very curious about the old Karnavash estate. What can you tell me about the place? That is an interesting place. How do you like living there? Um, I'm not sure yet. I think it's going to take a little getting used to. Well, I don't envy you. Now, why do you say that? You know, people act very strange when I tell them I bought the Carnivash estate. It's no wonder. It's rumored to be haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? We've seen one. Of course he not. He possessed our husband. Why? The ghost of Carno supposedly haunts the place. It's not even supposed to be safe to live there. Well, has anybody ever been hurt? Or, God forbid, killed there? I don't remember any deaths, but plenty of injuries. Over the years, the people who owned the place used to bring workmen in to fix things up, but invariably some bizarre accident would occur. One man had his arm chopped off, another man tumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck, he was paralyzed for life. God, that's terrible. Maybe these men were just careless. All of them. Well, maybe that could be. Even so, you be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. Sure. I just love the, um, the tropes at play here. It's just so cheesy. So cheesy good. I'm bored of talking to her now. Oh, actually, I think there might be something we actually need to get from the general store. I'm thinking about getting past the dog. That'll be uh, two dollars even. And I thank you. Come back to see us. I think I need to get like a bone or something. Um, maybe there's like free bones around somewhere, but I don't see anything. Hmm. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything back here. No, it must be somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe... I don't know, I'll head back to Malcolm's place and take a look, but I really think I need like a bone to get past it. And I'm sure it was like... I, I just figured this out. I have no idea how. Um, I've just, I have a feeling like there is a bone in the general store. In a barrel or something. Totally didn't look. A barrel, a barrel. So this is it? I mean, I feel like it's at the back of the store. I don't see a barrel or anything. Oh, there's another way I can go. 
Okay. There we go. Free bones. <laughs> Free soup bones. I love the exclamation mark. Free soup bones! Cool, let's get us one of those bones. Can we take one? There we go. <laughs> she like picks it up like ooh she doesn't want to attach it but then it just miraculously like disappears into her pocket somehow adventure game of pockets okay so now we should be able to get past the dog and get in to see Malcolm creepy old Malcolm Nice doggy. I'll give you a bone. Good that is dog. a scary ass dog. Nice doggy. I'd be happy if this was like a sleeping pill bone like in Monkey Island. Hopefully he'll- hopefully he likes us now. No, because we're friends now, right? Like, that's how that works, right? We're friends, he likes me now. No need to drug innocent dogs. <laughs> Throw antique lady a yes. dog. Yes, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> she was a bit annoying, right? I just bought the old Carnivage estate. I understand the man who lives here, Malcolm, I think his name is, used to live there as a young boy. So? Well, I was wondering if maybe I could speak to Malcolm about his experiences there. I have a lot of questions to ask him about the place. No. Mr. Warm Shadow is a very old man. I don't see any reason for you to come in and upset him. Well, that's why we're here today, not minutes. tomorrow. But I... I, I said Times no. of the essence. When this dude's 110, like, you don't want to, you don't want to waste time, you don't want to mess around. Oh, well... I guess... But we got past the dog and everything, what? Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe we just can't get in there yet. Hopefully... Like, hopefully the dog will still like us later on. He'll remember us, right? Dogs have good memories. All right, well, let's go, um, let's go try and give the drain cleaner to our husband. Hopefully he was just a bit grumpy this morning, just hadn't had his coffee yet. It's possible, right? Oh, the barn's open now. That's new. Was that carriage broken before? Ominous music. Hello? Somebody in here? Hear that rustling? There's definitely someone in here or something. What's this? Like a hook pulley thing. Hello? 
Not nothing? There was like all that like creepy music and the tension. I was seriously expecting something to just jump out. Okay. There's definitely some some something in here. I can hear that rustling. What's this? Trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. You never know who will be sneaking around this place. Sneaking around like you? Not me, really, Adrian. Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. They're probably just some vagrants. I doubt they're even here anymore. They better not be. Because if I get her asses around here... Don, don't. Come on, honey. They're probably gone. You know, we always have our trusty watch cat's baths. Yeah, right. Just in case we didn't know he was mad. <laughs> Let's kick a few more things. I got work to do. And I don't want you hanging around out here. I want you to stay up at the house. Wow. He definitely wasn't like this yesterday. I guess. I still hear the rustling, like, I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to be f doing. I'm looking there again, but... That's <laughs> 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 You scared me. <laughs> me too, me too. Oh, oh, nice crap. kitty. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, we're being watched. Something was watching us. Yeah. Can't believe how much I jumped just then. <laughs> okay. So I guess that rustling was just the cat. Or was it? Um. Well, I mean, I don't know if I want to give him his drain cleaner now. He's being kind of a jerk. So I think I want to go into the, um, oh, the music stopped. The crazy music that was in here before isn't playing anymore. Still can't get in this, this big door over here. Um, I think I want to go check out that, that, um, trap door that we found in the pantry. I think we might be able to break in. Is there anything else in here that I... Huh, I thought I might be able to use the poker to break in. Oh no, I have to turn the light on first, don't I? I love the music in this game. The music and the sound effects are like really 
really good, really top notch. It's a great atmosphere. I can't see a thing down there. That's okay, we have matches. We might need that for, for self defense. <coughs> oh. oh, it's dusty. Like a wine cellar. That's pretty cool. It's empty. Fully deep in the tension of the scene. Like, what are you gonna find? Mm. Oh, it's good. Wine. wine. I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> wine in the wine barrel. Is that like shackles? Wow. Looks like Kano is into some kinky shit. <laughs> cool, we know where to bring the hubby later. creepy place. Shall we um shall we go take the, the Drancula to um to the hubby? I'm just gonna have a quick look. Gotta gotta check out our appearance, you know, make sure she's still looking good. She's only done it like once today, so that's way less than her usual, like thirty times. get the reflection like it there's this like picture of someone in blue in the reflection which I guess should be like here and it just doesn't seem to be anywhere it's very very weird 
I like I don't know if I'm missing like I feel like maybe I'm being dumb but I don't know like it, unless it is the picture this picture here but it looks different in the mirror if it is so I don't know all right no I don't want to be over here oh right if this is a Sierra game it's definitely time to save I'm well overdue for a save Okay, we've got done the tarot for today. Oh, we wanted to have a look for a cameo as well. Um, because, because money. Um, but I think I might just go give him his drain cleaner first. Oh no, no, he's like, damn it, it's not locked. coming in here. What do you want? I'm busy. Can I? Come on, Don. Here's the drain cleaner you requested. Jeez. Yeah. Thanks. Honey, are you feeling all right? Is your head still hurt? Adrian, leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, how about a little dinner? You could come downstairs and help me. We could make a little pasta, maybe some salad, a little vino. Yeah, it sounds great. Call me when it's ready. You really shouldn't have forgotten the drain cleaner yesterday. Cool. That's the end of chapter two.